So this week was nothing but problems. So first off, we have the crank web. I got the crank apart successfully. Here's the junk rod. Um, these two holes here measure 23.03 millimeters. Now that means the pin, which I measured with a mic, was 23.10 millimeters. This is all fine and dandy, except on Pro Cross's website, they list the big end pin for the CRF50 as, and the Honda C50 as 23.00 millimeters. So I've emailed them to confirm this and take a bit of confusion out so I can figure out um, how big the pin is going to need to be. But in the meantime, what I've done is I've just ordered two of these from China, um, 30 bucks a pop, easy as, they'll show up, and then I'll make the pin to suit. Um, so here's what I think I'm going to do. There was a plan because I had some junk 110 rods, but they run on 25.1 mil. Um, big end, scrap that, so piss that off. And I think what we're going to do, if we have to, is we'll have a 23one millimeter pin, and it's going to be relieved in the centre if the big ends for the CRF are in fact 23.00 millimetres. My steel arrived, so I ordered this, um, EN36A. Um, it got lost on the truck, unfortunately, so it was delayed about a week. It's 33 mils in diameter. On another note, um, I need to get myself some 6mm solid 4140 round, although I haven't actually been able to find any. My supplier doesn't sell it uh, that small, so I'll shop around, and I was going to make a new set of 8 studs for the engine. What I've managed to get done this week um, is machine the oil gallery seen there that was with a four millimeter two flute high speed steel end mill at four and a half thousand rpm Um, I also machined this here oil pickup, filter screen, there you have, um, drops in nicely, slides in, nice tight fit, so that'll work fine. Spot drill this, I think tap it M12, I'll just double check, um, all the way up to here, and then drill a hole through here, which will go through these two, and feed oil up the cylinder. Um, other than that, I just need to drill the hole for the stopper, for the um, gear selector, and I need to sort this out. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. So this here was the classic case of remove a little bit of material, check it, remove some more, check it again, uh, until I had a satisfactory fit.
here on the input shaft, rubs on that screw. Um, obviously, there's a factory solution, which is here. They have this nice flat screw. So, a, so I think I'm going to try emulate something like this. Um, and I'll do that with maybe this here, maybe a cap head, we'll see. But I can't use this one for obvious reasons. Different lengths and the wheel is a different diameter. So here's my solution to the problem. Just got a cap head screw. This hole here is nine mils. More or less, 9.15. Got this. It's 8.99. And that's 10.10. So it's actually not much. It's only about half a mil lip the whole way around. It's not ideal, but it might work for now, we'll see. And we're back. It's all been shortened. So the bolt is still a bit long, but not too long. We'll make sure it kind of goes into the hole properly. Nice. I'll probably redo this with a better sized cap head, to be honest. Um, for the first time it's actually tight so in the next update i should have the crank assembled then i'll be able to sort the cam chain tensioner modify the cylinder and head and drill the right hand case to bolt on the clutch cover